Hi everyone, we all know that photos are great ways to engage your audience visually when you have them on a PowerPoint slide. So I'm sure most of us have inserted a photo or pasted a photo into a PowerPoint slide, but I don't know that a lot of people know that you can really edit these photos and work with them in different ways uh, right inside of PowerPoint. You don't need any fancy design software to do it. So welcome to my slide that introduces my three cats at home, Thomas and Ruth and Countess Luann, aren't they the cutest things? Now I have these just basic photos, they're kind of rectangle photos that have been pasted into the slide um, from whatever software, um, probably I took them from my iPhone and just emailed them to myself. But I want to actually make these uh, circles, the photos to be circles. So all you need to do is play with the crop settings a little bit to resize and reshape your photos. So to do that, just click on one photo, go up to the format picture tab, over here to crop, click on that menu, and then what you want to do is say crop to shape, and I want to crop it to a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you can see it gives me this oval automatically, but I want it to be more of a perfect circle, kind of a one by one ratio. So all you need to do is, when it's still highlighted, go back up to the crop, and go down here to aspect ratio, and I want it to be square instead of um, any of the other options. So I'm going to click on square one by one. It gives me this crop menu here. You can see the entire area of the whole photo, and I could drag this around to wherever I want it to focus, but I'm definitely going to focus here on, on uh, Ruth's eyes right there. When I'm done and I've repositioned it perfectly, I'm going to go click on crop, and now you have a beautiful picture in a perfect circle, and if I wanted to resize it, I would just go down here to the little uh, resize arrow and hold down the shift key, and then just drag that to make it a little bit bigger proportionally. So I hope you do this in your photos with your PowerPoint, and enjoy.